All right, so welcome to the video. In this video, I'm gonna go over this particular example of probability, which asks, what is the probability of drawing three cards and obtaining at least one king from a deck of 52 cards? So I guess that's a standard deck and no replacement. So that means we're not putting back the cards. Okay, so in this example, okay, if you're gonna be drawing three cards from a deck of 52, so you're gonna have one, two, three. Now, in order to have at least one king, um, unfortunately, there is many things that can happen uh, if you just want one king. So there's kind of two ways of approaching this, but whenever you do see at least one, it's typically ideal to use complements. So how do we use complements? Well, complements means, okay, so if you're gonna be drawing these things, so there's really a probability of, okay, the following. Probability of having no kings at all. And then, okay, plus the probability of at least one king. At least, at least one king. And this doesn't have to be a king. This can be at least one queen, at least one jack, at least one anything. It can be two cards, three cards, okay? Obviously up to four cards, okay? Or five cards or so on that you wanna be able to draw. Now, we know that the probabilities, okay? So must equal to one or 100%. So if you have no kings at all, and then the probabilities of having at least one king, now, having at least one king means that, you know, you can draw three cards. You can have one of those cards as a king, and it can be any of them. So meaning the first card or the second card or the third card. So you would need the probability of all of those. Um, it also means maybe, you know, drawing two cards um, that are actually kings out of those three. So maybe the first and the second, or maybe the first and the third. Okay, so as you can see, there are many combinations of drawing at least one king. Okay. Now, drawing no kings at all is much easier to do. And notice that what we can do is, I mean, if we bring this probability on the other side, so this is the rule of the complements. So, and if we do this, probability of no kings, then we're gonna get, you know, the probability of at least, okay, so this right here, at least one king. So that's the rule of complements. So that's the easiest way to go whenever they say at least one of something in these particular examples. So now what is the probability of having no kings at all? All right, so in those deck of cards, okay, so if we draw the first card, um, having no kings at all, right? So there's four kings in a deck, okay? So that means 48 of the cards don't have a king. So that's the probability, okay, of on the first card drawing no kings at all. On the second card, well now you already drew one card, so it's gonna be one less, okay? So you have probability 47 over 51. Again, because you, you are assuming that the first card wasn't a king. So it drops by one, and then the total number of cards drops by one. So now that's, okay, two cards drawn with no replacement and you have no kings. The third one is, okay, so you have now, because you drew two of them already, so it's gonna be 46 over 50. Again, one less than the previous one. And you're still, okay, haven't drawn any kings at all. So now if you multiply these through, okay, because they're just probabilities from the first card, second card, and third card. So you're gonna get the probability of drawing no kings on three consecutive draws from the deck. All right, so now if we do that, so we can keep this as a fraction, so whatever your teachers ask you to do. So we have, you know, 48, and let me just um, do this. So times, this will be 47 and then times um, 46. So that is what we have there on top. 103776, okay, divided by, okay, 
Okay, now at the bottom, okay, so what we have, okay, so we have 52 times 51 and then times 50. Okay, so that's out of 1, 3, 2, 6, 0, 0. And that's your probability, okay, so overall of drawing no kings at all. Now you can do this with combinations as well, but I think that this is you know, relatively um, simple to try to explain and hopefully you grasp the concept. Okay, so now if you want to know what the probability of drawing at least one king, you obviously have to do one minus all of that. So it's gonna be one minus, okay, and then whatever that is, one, zero, three, seven, seven, six, divided by one, three, two, six, zero, zero. So, you know, we can do that one minus, I'm gonna put this all, 103, 776, so I'm using just the fraction button here, 132, 600, zero, zero. Okay, and equals. <clears throat> so notice this converts me, I mean, I can, I guess I can put it back and keep it as a fraction if I want, and it's in reduced form there, or I can, you know, keep it as a decimal. Now notice, so as a decimal, so this basically is approximately 21.7%. So that's the probability of actually drawing at least one king, which is probably higher than people think, right? And that's how you would do this particular example. All right, so thanks for watching. Bye, everybody.